it's showtime. <laughs> you might, you might. Good morning, everyone. Wake up, wake up. Ah, sure is quiet in the studio, Jamie. You know what that's about to change? <laughs> I got three good talkers today. I got the newest bus driver from the Limestone County <laughs> School System in here this morning. I right know there in the middle, Dr. Tom Seals, the superintendent. <laughs> Dr. Tyke Miller in here from Decatur, and Dr. Cody Gross in here from <laughs> Athens Football this morning. Good to have you back in action, Cody. Good to be back. You didn't get the message to wear a white shirt and a tie this morning? No, I didn't. That's uh, that's a little above my pay grade there. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sis, good to have you. I know you're busy this time of year. School starting yesterday for the first day. We'll talk more about that in a little. I'm assuming it all went great except for the wreck. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Uh, like I said, if you'd had me driving, there might have been two in the ditch instead of one. Hey, Dr. Topman, you got any more of them glasses for the Eclipse? We have sold out, actually. Ooh. Well, you had, what, two or three thousand? Uh, two thousand. Awesome. You should have ordered more of them. Hey, I heard those things were going for five or ten dollars a piece now. You was practically giving them away. Yeah, and you donated the money to charity. I was donating the money to charity. Um, but the company that's making them, they're, they're still selling them, but you got to order them fast. Yeah, Lowe's was selling them, I mm -hmm. think. But I did read that they're, they're like be scalping careful. them now, man. Right. Cody, you know I ought to get you a bunch of them. That would be a good I, idea. All right, some. all okay, y'all that ain't got those glasses and won't be able to get them, go ahead today and make an appointment at Innovative Eye Care right down in 15 minutes from here, down 31, Highway 31 Indicator. Make your appointment today because if you ain't got them glasses, you're going to need it. <laughs> go ahead and make your appointment today. How many days is it? That. 24. 24 days to, co to college Ooh. football kickoff. How many days is high school That's kickoff? That's all he has to do. Uh, actually, some of them start the week zero, Coach. That's right. We, the 25th or 25th. 24th. 24th. Some on a Thursday, the yeah. 24th, and most 25th. Yeah. When you play? We've got a jamboree on the 25th. Oh, 25th, so you got the next week. Let me predict right now, Athens will win the state championship this year. Oh. Y'all heard it here first. All right. I'll, I would sign up for that right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this part of the show brought you by Hometown Market. There's one near you, Hartsell, Decatur, two in Athens. Celebrating, as a matter of fact, 35 years in Athens, Ooh. Alabama, on the location over on Jefferson. The other one hadn't been there that long. Go by and tell them we sent you in there. They opened in 1982. About mm, five years after I started the Country Rover, which I started 40 years ago this month. I was going to do a special, but I don't know how that's going to turn out. You'll right. never get it done. I'm working on it, but I'm only working at it right here. Hey, let's get this party started. Here's Gloria with, I think it might rain, and i got to fill y'all in on what we're about to be doing, so y'all hang on for that. I know we missed that yesterday. We got busy, but 69 degrees outside feels nice. Cooler temperatures. Just feels like football's in the air, doesn't it, Cody? Don't you love these nice, cool mornings? I don't know if you're practicing in the mornings yet, but Florida afternoons, day. sure. Are good. Sure, are getting a little humid. Oh, 50% chance of rain today. Yes, again, another day. Keep an umbrella close. Yesterday actually turned out nice. It rained in the morning and then the afternoon hours were quite nice without the rain. High temperatures today of 84. Pretty much the same thing for tomorrow. 85 for your high. Cloudy skies. 50% chance of those showers. There is a chance of rain almost daily. So there you go. Just throw the umbrella in the back seat should you need it. It's carried on for yet another. Another week. There it is right there. Isogenics, if you need more energy, want to feel good, and lose some weight. Don't look like me. All you got to do is well, sign up today. <laughs> Give me a call. I'll be glad to help. Yeah, 603 4848. And outside in the parking lot, it's not raining yet. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Looking good so far out there. Cody, good morning. How are you? Doing great, Jim. I haven't seen you since Sunday at church. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good. I'll see you passing in the hallway. That's right. Yeah. And Dr. Sisti, how many hours did you put in yesterday? Mm, let's see. I started at 5.30. I finished at 8. Eight? Oh, that's supposed to happen. It was day. a short day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A short day. You say you've been pretty busy yourself. I've been. Back to school. A lot of kids getting in to get their eyes checked. All right. Why does everyone wait till the last moment? Just I don't know. So they can miss habit. the first day of school. <laughs> yeah. <just> telling you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go right. For four years, oh. we have made our way to Lindsay Lane Baptist Church for a mom's day out to pick up Maddie every yes. day at 1245 or 1230 between because she's been going four years. Today, she starts kindergarten at Brookfield. <laughs> 
She only has to go until 11, and then she goes uh, all day tomorrow and gets out Friday and Monday. I know, so I love that schedule. They kindergartners. Now they go the same way. They do. Transition them in. I don't now, know if that's for the parents or for the yeah. <laughs> kids. Uh, what I wanted to say, Zach, before I get over to you, there's been a, as soon as I walked in church, mm -hmm. somebody said, Man, I saw that motor home y'all bought. Did you see us with that people? Man, and then we, we put our house on. Our house has been for sale, so everybody thinks we're fixing to hit the road, I guess. We're not leaving it. We did not buy a motor home. We are not buying a motor home, but today we are driving a motor home. Oh, I like how you talk big. We I'm not driving that thing. It's too big. He chickened out. Now I have to drive it. What we're doing, they approached us, our new, my newest best buddy, Rod, down at Madison <laughs> RV over on Highway 20 at the airport. They're like the number one RV dealer in the south, whatever. Good folks, good folks. They have going to be doing a big football package with 48. Spend all this money over there with them instead of me. But it's <laughs> going to be on Sunday Night Football, which is the highest rated show of the year, you know, mm. and yes. the Super Bowl. Mm. So we are going to be taking a GoPro, weather permitting, tomorrow with three or four or five mounted GoPros inside it and a cameraman inside the thing with us. And we're going to do a and Leo commercial for them. A minute and a half commercial for them. How y'all think that's going to go? Not be, that good. Thought it'd be interesting. Pray I don't I, hit I anyone. I said, I, I told us, I ain't driving this stuff. He's like, I you're going to have to do it. Driving, so I'm out of the way. <laughs> that answers the question for you folks that have asked us, are y'all buying that motor yes. home? <clears throat> not yet. I might be living in one for so long, <laughs> but I'm not buying one. All right, Zach, here's sports with Zach Bama Zach. Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports brought to you by KSC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Since we got Coach Gross up here today and Dr. Says, we just talked a little football. A lot of preseason polls coming out already, and a lot of the same faces are top the number one polls. A lot of them, Hoot Hoover, Seb A. Ramsey, 6A, Hanley, Piedmont, Fife, you know, all those schools are usually at the top and they're there again. Locally, we have Austin, they're ranked uh, fourth in 6A, Tanner is sixth in 2A, and then you also got James Clemens, fifth in 7A, and Bob Jones, eighth in 7A. Those are about the only local teams right now, but I'm sure. Coach Gross and all the Limestone County schools are going to try to take care of that and get their name in there. Hey, got to give, they did a good article on my buddy Andrew Smith, who is now the interim head coach at Ardmore High School. And I know he's got those kids working hard, and he'll do a good job taking over for Coach Legg and wish him well. And we'll have Coach Legg and Coach Pugh up here tomorrow. And Jeremy Johnson, for all you Auburn fans wondering what happened to Jeremy Johnson. Don't care. He signed <laughs> with an agent, and he's going to go play pro basketball overseas. So, hey, Mace, we're into so Richard. I, he, I don't know why he wouldn't minutes. play in basketball for Auburn instead of football anyway. But, but so, uh, and, and practices are going good. We had uh, Travis Ryder from Bama Online yesterday. And, man, we, Alabama's got about 10 linebackers, Jamie. I don't know what we're going to do with all of them. Saying, I guess, guess we can just put 10 linebackers on the field and go with it. So that's about all I got. That is? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, uh, news courier yesterday, first day of school. Doc Holiday, yep, new beginning. And we just said Maddie starts to school today. So now, uh, but today is the first day of school for Athens City also. So, Cody, does that mean you have to go back to work? Yes, he does. Do you <laughs> teach? Back you to work? Yeah, I've, got, uh, I've got weight room. <laughs> I've got the weight room with our, our guys. Uh, that's throughout. all you do is just do football? I mean, and that's it? That's taught awesome. a history class in the spring, and then I've got uh, got lunchroom duty. Ooh, no! What does that mean? That means I'm in there for for two hours. Get to see every kid in the school, which is pretty good. <laughs> and uh, help Coach Tedford and I, oh, okay. head basketball coach. Yeah. We we've got it, and uh, kind of freeze administrators up a little so bit. So you get to eat all you want. Oh yeah, so y'all yeah, keep all the trouble. I tell you there. what, now our lunchroom ladies are unbelievable. They are great. I bet they're so nice they to you guys great. too. They are. We're going to talk nice. more about that in a minute too. And I can't believe Doc, this one all you have to go through, oh, especially getting everything. But everything yesterday went without a hitch except the small minor accident, right? Yeah, we had, we just had one bus turning around, back wheel went off the the pavement, got stuck in the mud, tried to rock it out, ended up going back too far, so we ended up having to pull it out. Is there a new driver? Uh, you know, I don't know that. <laughs> Probably, could have been. I, I like well, you, had, you alluded really earlier that I needed to be driving a bus, and if I did, there'd have been two in it. Yeah, so, that's you know, nice. uh, I would have uh, a school bus. bus. Hey, that, are, they, are those mounted with cameras now? Yes. We, we, every one of our buses now have five camera systems in them now. Good. Um, and in addition to that, we are um, 
and they're digital, so we can actually watch them from the bus shop. So it's right. important. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Yeah, sure. that's, yeah. oh, that's, that's great. That's wonderful. All right, Chris, I know you warmed up. You've been studying up. <laughs> when we come back, we'll play Judge Jamie. This is our crew for today. Your so favorite we'll game, I'm sure. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> Since you was up there. Yeah, it is different. <laughs> Makes me feel like a stud every time I hear it. And y'all know what that means? Ain't live on Facebook this morning to my multi-millions worth of fans all over the world. Really? Brought to you by One Love Hearing Concept. What? This portion of Judge Jamie, you deserve to hear. Call my buddy Zeke. He's got seven locations, one near you, the Athens being the main one. All right, Dr. Sis, I know you ain't been up here in a while. Cody, you may have forgotten. Wrong answer. Right answer. <laughs> But right up your alley. You might win these vinyl sausages today, named after my hometown of New Hope. All right. All right. Talking about buses this morning. Editorial in Decatur Daily with schools starting back. How many states is it illegal to pass a school bus that is stopped to load or unload children? All of them. <laughs> All of them is the right answer. Uh, 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 that was a gimme. I was just kind of throwing uh, that one. I was hoping that was going That's where I was going. <laughs> yeah. Got says down. here, the area 10 feet around the school bus is the most dangerous for children, and those kids that are 5 to 6 years old are the ones most oh. likely to be run over by a school bus. And we had that incident last year, you will recall, mm -hmm. right, uh, with Ashley Jones, but right. she didn't get hit getting off the bus, the bus had already pulled off and she crossed the road to check the mail and got hit after the bus had pulled away. Mm. Mm. Two lane roadways, who has to stop? Who has On a to two stop? lane, yeah, who has to stop for a bus? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. What about a four lane? <laughs> All of them? All of them. Oh, then it gets a little complicated here, but I just want to throw that out for you folks out there. Stop. Need to stop. Huh? They all need to stop. Yes. Everybody's got to stop. A lot of people stop. don't on the other side of the Right. Floor. But they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are. Yeah. They're supposed to. Ten myths about farming. I'll kind of make this here easy on you. Easy. I got to tell y'all, we've been eating so good like it's unbelievable. If y'all haven't been, I'll give Isom's a plug. Man, down at Isom's, they got the freshest stuff you've ever What'd had. What'd you have for lunch the other day? She's, I, I'm in there the other morning, I'm shucking corn. Y'all heard of a preacher shucking the corn? That's what I'm in there doing, shucking the corn. I made him shuck a bunch. I wish you'd took video of that. <laughs> All right. We'll do it again. All right, here, here's just a simple question. The vast majority of farms in America, 99% of them are owned by who? Corporations. You know what, Dr. C.S., yes, you are super intelligent, but that's a wrong answer. Oh, I thought that was it. That was the that furthest, was. nearly 99% of U.S. farms are family-owned. Really? Really. See, I, I would, you would have thought that. See? Oh, I man. I know that. The average farmer is on Farmers Business Network, a social media-like platform for farm, all that stuff. Anyway, uh, you, most people would have thought that. They're on corporations. Mm -hmm. So... Now, only our fine eye doctor will know this next question. Here we he go. Does, he That's does it to you every week. When is the total eclipse? August 21st. Right, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm just throwing you some good ones out here. They're having all kind of fests. How, how long are they saying this pageantry, I mean, will last? It's going to last about three hours. I'll let you have four hours, actually. How long, what will three the temperature hours. drop? Uh, between 10 and 15 degrees. Man, you are right on. Man, well, I, I you didn't are. Know that. Who, what country is in the bullseye of the total eclipse? The United States. So far, you're good. Now, let's see how really <laughs> smart you are. That was excellent. That's Where is work. basically the center of this book? Of this? It's just outside of Hoptonsville, Kentucky. Hoptonville, Kentucky is a right answer. Oh, man, no. I'm I'm he's the best, he best I've it. ever seen. <laughs> how, how many visitors are they expecting? Over 100,000. 250,000 to be exact. Right. Cody, you didn't know there's going to be a major eclipse coming up. <laughs> and if you ain't got, where's my glasses? He has glasses right here. You I'm have giving some him some. I do These not. are for sale through us only for $25. No, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these have you sold? 2000 sold 2000 <laughs> For a dollar, and he gave the money away to charity. Not like you, you Mr. $25. I do not. Your football table, all right, He's here's what you do. Make an appointment to see him. <laughs> You can probably get in right now on the 22nd of August. <laughs> Glenn K. 
Campbell died last night. Y'all heard that. Einstein Cowboy. 81. Uh, Einstein Cowboy at 81 yeah. years old. What were his number? What were his best two songs? Einstein Cowboy. And Wichita Lineman. And that's uh, not it. Uh, some, <laughs> summer night. Southern night. <laughs> yes. What did you say, Zach? Tell us how it goes. I like a rhinestone cowboy. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Okay, don't do rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> what movie did he sing the title song mm. from in 1969 that won John Wayne an Oscar? True. Was it True Grit? True Grit is the right answer. What was the name of his show in 1972, from 69 to 72 on CBS? The Glenn Campbell Show. The Glenn Campbell <laughs> Good Time Hour. Okay. Average 50 million people. Wow. That's a lot of folks. His daddy told him, he was from Arkansas, be nice, son, and don't cuss, and be nice to everybody you meet. That was his motto. All right, Glenn Campbell. It's for everybody. USA Today this morning. Then I'll get to some hard questions. <laughs> the global wild tiger population is up 700 since 2010. What is it? Global world tiger. Been a lot of them around here, but... <laughs> I have no idea. 5,000. I'll let you have it. 3,890. Yes. Good answer. Dr. Sith's way this game works, I ask questions. And besides that farm answer, you might not try to redeem yourself here. I've been devastated. You know. All right. Y'all know yesterday was the first day of school. A woman has gone viral from the state of Alabama with her back to school photograph. Have y'all seen it? That. Here's her picture. Show it, Brad. There she is right there. That's her three kids. That little four-year-old's going to kindergarten. That is her with a glass of champagne in her pool. The question is, with what part of Alabama is she from? Huntsville. No. Tanner. She's from LA. Beulah, Beulah, Alabama. Now, Beulah. Well, I don't know where is Beulah. That's lower Alabama. Is it? <laughs> All right, dude, I, I, can't, I can't speak to the pool, but I can tell you, walking through Walmart, I've seen a lot of big smiles on their faces, and I just have to believe that's parents right. turning <laughs> them off to us. So right, we're here's excited one. to have them. Here's uh -huh. one Dr. Teichman, everybody know. Now, this is way before any of our time, but in the early 1900s up to about 1928, females weren't allowed to wear bikinis because it hadn't been invented yet. Okay. So they had a thing called the Beats Police. <laughs> and they had to measure, see measuring? Mm -hmm. What's the distance from the knee to the swimsuit was illegal? Or you'd get a ticket. Eight inches. So three inches. Six inches. What, what was the fine? Show us more than a picture. Really? Right? Maybe Twenty, three dollars. Uh, Fifty five cents. Dollars. Five dollars. Ten dollars. Oh my! That's wow. a big one. Boy, I'd be a gazillionaire now if I'd go out and measure them. Probably get slapped and arrested, but hey. Yeah. Anyway, 1920s. Wow. I don't think none of us was around back then. Where's Frank when I need him? <laughs> Speaking of that same era, what was the number one television show? I remember growing up watching this as a kid. What was the number one show on during the day? It was the original Desperate Housewives in the 1950s and early 60s. That's you, right? <laughs> I just look that bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no clue. Do you remember Queen for a Day? Queen for a Day. Never it, was heard of it was the original Desperate Housewives. Really? They gave them what? It was on from 45 to 64. It was the top oh. spot on daytime TV. Television ownership when it started in 1948 was what of American households? Oh. Five million. Less than a half percent of U.S. households. Wow. Over the next eight years, it jumped 80 percent. Mm. All right. There's only one person that could possibly know the answer to the next question that here on <laughs> Judge Jamie I'm about to ask. Let's point to you. Oh, <laughs> oh, all no over pressure. you. <laughs> Two of the world's rarest coins. Mm. Aren't you a coin? coin? I am. <laughs> Don't you have a degree in coins? I do. What is, it, what, what is that degree? <laughs> it's called a numistitist, a numistitist degree. It's Say what? that again. A numistitist. A numistitist. Well, that's what I thought, but I wanted to know. <laughs> it's what it's easy for him to say. I appraise old coins and currency. You appraise them? I sure but do. Wow. Give me that again. My, spe it's what? my specialization, though, is in early American uh, currency. 1929 national currency note. And you're going to be on the money with that. What's that degree again? 
You got Numistatist. Numismatic. It's a numismatic certification. Did you know that? I did. I didn't know. <laughs> Might have known. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you, an American well coin, the most expensive American coin that was sold at, at, uh, was a, let's see, 1878 uh, Morgan Silver dollar, and it sold for about $1.3 million about three oh, years ago. Now, yeah, but I ain't said, asking that question. I know, you didn't ask that question. You asked a different question. Go ahead, ask that question. <laughs> You don't, get, you don't get credit unless you answer the question. Oh, man, that's a you know what? He's trying to make his own question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting loaded over here. I, I, I hate somebody coming up here and trying to tell me. <laughs> He's a know-it-all. I don't care. What do you think more of? I couldn't say what he said. All right, so what's the right. question? <laughs> Two pretty pennies. Two what? Pennies. Okay. The rarest of all, just sold for, combined for a half a million dollars. <laughs> what were they? Know-it-all. Were they U.S. pennies? Yes. Hmm. Well, let's see. Maybe a 1943 steel penny. What well, was the president's named after? Oh, the Lincoln penny. 1943 is the right answer. Uh, yeah. What is the other one? <laughs> um, hmm. On I'd now. have to Come say it's now. the Eagle penny, and um, hmm. I, I don't know that you. sale. This was from 1792. Yeah, that would have been an Eagle series, so no, I don't know. I didn't know that, but I mean, it's called the <laughs> Birch Sin. Hey, he got, huh? he got that first one right and surprised us all, so good. Only <laughs> about five or six. Did you not know that? I am way out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> you brought in some yeah, ringers yeah, for, uh, for Judge James. Hey, yeah. I've never seen a question answered right. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, and the picture of the lady that's on there is also on Go the back to the picture, Brad. So the, the picture on the right from the 1792 is also the same portrait you'll find on a trade dollar. Mm. Just so you know. Yeah, just so Cody. you know. Okay. What's your degree in? Underwater math. That's all right. That's right. That's right. Social science. There we go. All right, I'm going to skip this. Uh, uh, and you are what? Again, you get it. It. How often do you get to use that? Uh, today has been the most I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to ask me to spell it there for a minute. I, I, I was waiting on that. I'd like to bring coins in here. I knew you spell it. <laughs> Commercial break, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Do you know how to spell it? Huh? Do you know how to spell it? Uh, let's see. N U M I N I T I S T. That's a right answer. No, I have no clue. All right. I'm going to have to give you the winner today. We're going to do this last question. America's oh most expensive home is for sale right now in Los Angeles for three hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah. Come on, he already knows that. Right? <laughs> well, so look at him. I did. I saw you laying out in the bathtub out there in front. I figured it was your house. What did they call the pool there? A cement <laughs> oh, pond. The cement <laughs> pond is the correct answer. It's where, it's where the clampets. That's where the Beverly Hillbillies live. Beverly Hillbillies. I can't do <laughs> anything else. <laughs> I mean. They had an underground Way garage or how many cars would it park? Pardon? The underground garage at that mansion. 25. Had. 25. Oh, I, that I don't know. You I don't? I don't know that. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> now, 40. But I know now how you got the job to be the last of the <laughs> superintendent. <laughs> Cody? I'm just a football coach. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break be right back. Y'all hang on. That's impressive. That was impressive. I have to say that was. Let's wow, quickly. I don't want to know about it, knowing about the penny question. All right, let's quickly go over that forecast. Keep an umbrella close. 50% chance of rain today and tomorrow. 69, already 70, 71 degrees out there this morning. One of those humid days, too, because of the damp weather and high temperatures around 84, 85 for tomorrow. Pretty much rain chance every day for the next week. 
So not a lot of good things to tell you. If it's not raining, of course, everyone still gets ready for that football, those football games. We're going to talk more about that in just a moment. Alan Coleman, Dr. Alan Coleman, brings you this portion of the program. New phone number if you need to call them, schedule an appointment. Now that you've got the kids all taken care of, Parents, get yourself an appointment. 774-9020 is that number. And if you need a good place to eat, I can get you a deal on most every place thanks to Chef Cody Gross up here this morning. Right. Already selling something. What is that, Cody? <laughs> We've got our gold card. That's an annual uh, fundraiser football team does. We've done that for a, for a long time. A lot of local uh, oh, restaurants local and businesses restaurants. that uh, you can get some great discounts. Do they that get way. it from any football Everyone player? Likes to save any money. football player. Any coach, twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. Twenty dollars. Save you if you use it, you save a lot of money. A lot of money. If you don't, it doesn't help you a whole lot. Cody, you're starting your second <laughs> season at Athens. That's right. Full ass head coach. That's right. Well, I, as Athens, That's period. Athens. Well, I was an assistant yeah. years ago. Years ago, but yeah. that don't count. They In a former now, <laughs> former life. Ah, what what are y'all doing right now? <laughs> well, we're uh, school starting today. Right. You know, for us on their first day of school, but uh, we went twice on Monday at a. Uh, a special teams practice at 6.30 in the morning, came back in the afternoon, and then uh, practice yesterday, just in helmets so far today, we can put shoulder pads on, and then uh, tomorrow we can put full gear on. How many you got at this year? We got 71 on the varsity, and uh, we got 29 freshmen That's presently, so we've got 100 lot. kids, 9 through 12, That's and about 70, so we're 70 plus at the middle school with 7th and 8th graders. Goodness. Ain't that considered quite a bit? That's pretty good. Pretty good number. That's pretty good. What are we expecting? What do you expect? I know you expect an undefeated season, but what's it shaping up to be this year? Well, I don't know about Not undefeated. I, we we don't talk a whole lot about wins and, <laughs> and, and losses. We just talk about being the best we can be and, and uh, representing our our city the right way. But uh, that's one thing I, I can tell you will happen. Our our boys, our, our young men, will uh, make the folks here proud. They're, they're a hard-working group, dedicated, tough. Um, they're bought into what we're doing, very involved in the community. We, we get involved in a lot of things, and uh, they're, they're really good kids. Have you got any little grosses on the team? <laughs> <laughs> I've got one play, and I've got a 10th grade uh, wide receiver. Uh, my oldest son's helping us coach. He's, he's going to be a teacher, going to major in social science like I did. And, um, He's going to Calhoun and Athens State, so he's helping us coach. And then I got a fifth grader that's a manager. He kind of he kind of <laughs> so runs the show for the managers. First, will this be the first season your wife has been able to see a game? <laughs> well, she didn't get to last year. Right. You know, the rest of my career, yeah, she's been all over. But last year, my oldest son was playing at Lardell County. You know, you might want to mention your oldest son. He might want to. What's the name of that degree you got again? <laughs> You miss kids or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You're not want to start taking that. Well, he may. He, he's talking about going to social science. I try to talk him out of it. But that's what he's hey, uh, studying them coins. Is, yeah. You, know, you never know when you might need that. <laughs> it worked out came today. Came on your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else is going on, and how can you? Uh, Community help, but what do you, what do you guys buy these cars? Buy the help cars these and when's your first game? You got a jamboree. We got a jamboree. Uh, Russellville comes in here on the 25th, which is going to be very very soon. We open uh, the first regular season game is at Sparkman, and then week two Hartzell comes into it's town. Starting out easy. Oh, Already, oh, goodness. Oh, that's all we've got. A bunch of easy. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. An easy road. Sparkman, Hartzell. Yeah, you start Russellville. Yeah, He's start talking out. a little differently this year than he was last year. <laughs> you start out a little easy. Yeah, year. it's uh, it's murderers row. There, there are no no gimmies on the schedule, but but our you know as as a competitor, that's the way you that's the way you like it. But uh, but just. Uh, you know, just working with those young men, got a great staff, uh, great support all the way from Dr. Holliday to Dr. Scrimpture and everybody in between. Well, What's Dr. the hardest Holliday. part about uh, this time of year, getting, getting things going? I don't know. I don't, think about it being, I don't think about it being hard. I, I tell everybody I've never worked a day in my life. You love right. it that much. I love it. I can't wait to get up in the mornings and, and get there and see those guys. That, there's times in the summer where it's just me up there working. You know, just, you know, we have our kids come in and work out, but it, it's a miserable job when the players are not around. Aww. But when they're there, man, they just bring you life and, and energy and uh, love being around our kids. So uh, It shows. I, it I can't shows. say there's a whole lot that's hard about it. I mean, I really can't. You love it that much. I do, and I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of hard jobs. Actually, I, I got one of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> it really does. It shows. It <laughs> shows. How still? did yeah. the Wednesday nights go? Wednesday nights, still doing it? Yeah, yes, uh, we'll do them on Tuesday nights. Uh, actually, the Bible study 
Uh, so people, you know, they can go to their own church on Wednesday. Okay. But, yep, we'll do the Bible studies again on Tuesday night at my right. house. And, uh, yeah, they were great last year. I expect them to be, be great again. Awesome. All right. How's your other coach you had the fundraiser for? Uh, Sam yeah, Graham. Sam. He's, uh, well, thank everybody, anybody that contributed to that. And then the big thing is prayers for, for Coach Graham. He's uh, got multiple sclerosis, been fighting that for a long time. And uh, in, in May, he kind of decided he needed to take a uh, leave of absence. Mm -hmm. And he underwent uh, limb trotta treatments, if anybody's familiar with that. And it's depleted his uh, immune system. He's trying to get built back up. And, uh, he, he's doing okay. I mean, you know, we're just praying for um, that it'll stop the progression of MS, and and uh, the goal is for him to be back in January with us. Great. Uh, he's still going to help me uh, with the weight room from afar, <laughs> and uh, I'll have to kind of adjust some things. You had a you had to do it the daily. fundraiser, didn't you? We did. We used uh, you caring, and uh, we, we our goal was fifty thousand. We reached that last week. Wonderful. And uh, actually, my wife went on and looked, and somebody else's somebody the other night gave a thousand dollars. Wow. And it's to help renovate, uh, remodel a house, and take care of any medical expenses that are not covered by awesome. insurance, but not to make it fully handicap accessible, widen doors, you know, the, the whole wow. nine yards. And anybody knows Sam, he's, he's the most uh, selfless, caring, godly man I know. Awesome. And it's all about other people. And he's trying to give people their money back. That's, <laughs> that's the kind of guy that, that he is. And, you know, I just, uh, this season, his first, his dad was a coach. Mm -hmm. And he played. We were roommates together at UNA. Oh, really? And finally got to coach together again. We coached together at UNA years ago. But this will be his first fall since he can remember that he's not on the football field. Wow. So, you know, mentally that's yeah. going to be tough. He's got four little girls at home and his wife. And we're just different. praying for him to, to, you know, again, stop the progression of MS yeah. and, and yeah. kind of restore a little bit of quality of life to him. Mm, keep them in prayer. All right, Cody, we're going to be a regular up here, hopefully on Wednesday. You need to start. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, he won't yeah, be up here every week. He may have run me off with, uh, <laughs> with the stack you. panel you he had up here. He won't book him for, on the same day. He'll probably take your pockets for you and see what kind of coins you got on you. Get some more football coaches yeah. up here. Well, I may have a shot. <laughs> you be bringing in Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> They'll be here tomorrow. Let's you and uh, Clint ain't the coach no more. He says the president. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll have him up here and not tell him what you call him. He did not. All right, Cody, we'll see you next All week. Right, and y'all don't get to get one of these. He's about to hit us up for 20 bucks, so I guess. Hey, so, uh, everybody buy one. All right, sure. we'll take a break. Be right back with Dr. Tom Sisk, y'all. Hang on. <laughs> Hey, did he go through your pockets uh, over there while I go to Dr. Tartmiller and see what kind of coins you had on you? Fresh out. All right. Dr. Chris Tartmiller up here, Dr. Tom Sis. We'll start with you. Yesterday was the first day of school. Let's go back to that bus accident. Well, nothing to it. Nothing. Right? Absolutely. It was a, a turnaround event. We had a tire go off the pavement. Uh, we tried to rock the bus to get it back onto the road, and we went back too far, so we had to pull it. All right. Did you go out there and, and personally help I the I did boat? not. <laughs> no, sir. I was in about five different other places at the same time. Oh, I was going to ask you, how many schools did you attend yesterday? I went to seven schools yesterday. How many schools, wow. elementary, junior high, and high school, are there in Limestone County? On Seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. We have 17 schools. We have 9,100 students that are attending bricks and mortar programs, and our virtual school programs this year will exceed 1,000. So we'll have an additional 1,000 students uh, that won't be attending school, but are students that are served by our system through partnerships like the Alabama Connections, for example. Uh, yeah. So Now, are they constantly <clears throat> seeking new students at that? Oh. We will yeah. all the way until the 20-day count, okay. yes. All right. So we're trying to grow it. Now, you've got several. Who all got a new school this year? Well, uh, this year, Creekside was divided to an upper elementary and lower elementary, so we added a 44,000 square foot school there. Um, and so this is the first full year for that. We moved into it in May, the end of the year, uh, because that's when we were finished. Uh, but this year is the first start of it. Uh, and then Sugar Creek. And Sugar Creek Elementary welcomed probably about 700 kids yesterday. Uh, we moved students from the Owens community and from the West community over. Uh, the joke was there was gridlock in Leicester. <laughs> believe that. <laughs> Leicester, Alabama. Yep. Oh, man, that's, that's so, kind of funny. So hey, those are new. Now, you also, I know you moved our friend um, 
Coach Legg is now assistant principal. He's not but you moved a lot of people around. I hope he's not superintendent. No, I mean, no, no. <laughs> but because uh, uh, that means I'm out of a job, but I want to keep mine. <laughs> but uh, yes, we actually have uh, one of the things we did was we broke away the elementary schools from the high schools up until last year. Uh, Tanner, West, and Elkmont were K-12 schools, and the state calls them unit schools from K to 12 unit. What we've done is we've moved away from that, and uh, Ms. Haley James is the principal at Elkmont Elementary, but Mr. Tribble is still the principal of the high school. Uh, we have Ms. Uh, now, in the past, would Billy Owens have been the principal of the whole school? He was, and now that he's retired, we okay. have Mr. Lewis Gordon, who's the principal of the high school, and we have Ms. Angie Barnes, who's the principal okay. of the elementary oh, school. Okay. And, and then uh, in the, let's see, I did Elkmont, did Tanner, uh, West. <laughs> Miss Miss Craig just has six through twelve now. The elementary wing there at West is closed because those students have moved over with Miss Miller over at Sugar Creek. And what's the purpose of going away with it? Uh, unit schools? Twelve, yeah. yeah, one through twelve. More K individualized K attention. When you're a principal of a K-12 school, I can't imagine how we do it. Uh, truly, the bell is always ringing. Somebody's always taking a test, and the schedules don't always congeal. There, there's always a conflict, and uh, when we when we have a elementary principal who can focus purely on the elementary curricula, then those students get more attention at that level. What are some of the major deep, uh, problems you have to deal with, uh, you and your staff, in the first week of school? School, uh, school zone variances. We have a lot of parents that, uh, under district choice, uh, think that that means they can pick wherever they live and they can go wherever they want. District choice extends our boundaries 10 miles beyond the county line and includes the city of Athens, includes the city of Huntsville, includes the city of Madison. So if you're within Limestone County and 10 miles beyond the county line, the center of that uh, pie, if you will, is the courthouse. And so it comes out. So if you're an Athens city person, Depending upon where you live in the city, uh, you may say, well, I want to go to Creekside. Well, no, you're zoned to, to Tanner. Or I want to yeah. go to Tanner. Well, no, you're zoned to Elkmont. Uh, they still have to follow in those areas. And so district choice gives any resident within Limestone County in the surrounding area the choice to come to a Limestone County school. Uh -huh. And right now we have probably 70 or so students that take What about there. school security? Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, the Attorney General called Limestone County Schools the safest schools in Alabama last year. And the reason he did that is we were the first school system to implement our Safe Defend Network, which is an active shooter response system. We also uh, partnered with the uh, Limestone County 911 call center. We had the Ray Panic System along with uh, Athens City. Uh, and we were the first county school system to have armed resource officers in every single school. And this fall, we will have an armed APOST certified deputy in every single school. So we have a deputy. We have an app where people can notify us immediately. We used that last year at an elementary school where a student was having an anaphylactic reaction to peanuts. And uh, we were able to speed up our response time. And a helicopter had to be called, and that child had to be life flighted. Uh, but we were able to speed up our time because we had wow. that device. And so safety is very important to us. Well, I'm glad you only got nothing wow. going on. Yeah, he knows all about it too, doesn't well, he? Well, we had 109. <laughs> this fall, uh, we're opening up with 194,000 square feet of new instructional space. <laughs> Okay, so you have new space at Creekside, a completely new school in Leicester, and uh, additional space going on at Career Tech Center. And we're doing another expansion at Career Tech and Automotive Collision. And <laughs> we just opened up the first virtual classroom. Oh. Now, we talk about virtual learning, but when I say a virtual classroom, these kids come in and they put on something called an Oculus Rift. And they go in there, and in this room, there are sensors all around that create a 3D world. And while they're looking through those glasses, they can disassemble and reassemble motors. They can take apart and redesign engine components. And they have gloves on, and wherever their hands go and their eyes, they're actually doing it. They have, wow. In a virtual world, they're grabbing a wrench, and they're actually doing it. Their assignment comes down on a you drop. You wearing one of those? Oh, yeah, it's called an Oculus Rift. So awesome. it's our first classroom that's completely virtual. How many um, students will be in that classroom at one time? Two to three okay. at a time. Uh, in the whole segment of the class, 15 to 20. Okay. So That's it's the awesome. first one of those that we've well, got nothing going on. I want one of those at home. <laughs> All right. Hold up there, coin man. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Tyler.
type miller what do you got going on <laughs> just back to school <laughs> get uh, their eyes checked so they can see well and perform well in the classroom all right Goodness. so one of the things is august is uh you know eye exam month and there's uh 12.2 million uh, kids that have never had their eyes checked and one in four of those have vision problems that go undetected so that can affect their ability to learn and study and so forth mm -hmm. so it's real important that they do, do get that. Most parents not even realize that until they bring them for an appointment with you guys? That's it or they may notice or a teacher may notice that the child's just not performing well and they'll send them but the child doesn't have anything to compare it to so they just they don't know don't so know the, the only way to know is to really just to bring them in and let them let us check. Them. All right, coach, you folks that don't aren't familiar with the last couple of months, Dr. Tyke Miller's with us at Innovative Eye Care on Highway 31 Indicator. It's a 15-minute drive from here. Just go down and make an appointment, get in. Why do you can you, you still take a new patients? We are. All right, school. We'll talk more about that right now. Till you do the dry eyes. Oh, you got a question. I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to inject to something about eyes. Okay. Uh, and, and I think it's important. You know, recently you saw in the media. I went to Washington D.C. to talk about the Medicaid reductions. All right. Without the Medicaid re reimbursement that schools gets, we can't afford to send some of our students to the doctor. Mm -hmm. We have families that don't have the health care that they need. And so we're able to use these Medicaid reimbursements to help pay for those visits. And that's why it was important that we continue to talk mm -hmm. to our elected officials to not reduce our Medicaid expenditures where public schools are concerned so that they can receive services like this. Right, now, Good. what the youngest people need to bring their uh, kids in? We'll see them as early as uh, six to six months to 12 months, and we do a, a special exam for that, but usually at least by age three and again by age five. And then once a year after that until they get out of All right, let's college. talk about one of the things you always bring up is dry eyes, right. something we have over there. And you come in, now, we went over there, got the thorough examination. I was blind as a bat, evidently, by the time I left, <laughs> but said I had to wear glasses, or driving anyway. You wouldn't think it'd be a problem driving a Hummer, but it is. <laughs> Uh, the dry eye thing, you're one of the few people that actually has that. Right. And that is lipo... Lipoflow. Lipoflow. Lipo How does that work? Well, the lipoflow basically helps treat the part of the uh, dry eye that affects the oil glands, which is about 85% of the people that have dry eye problems, their oils are not produced well enough. And a lot of that is due to improper blinking and too much iPad, cell phone, and uh, computer usage. Which affects everybody. And it's getting worse. Not and most a people do age. not know they have that. They do problem. not realize that, right? And dry eye doesn't mean you're just scratching, or right? Anything. It could be blurry vision, or your vision fluctuates throughout the day. Your eyes feel tired at the end of the day. So it's uh, all right. Let's talk about this eclipse. You were the first one that actually educated on educated us on this about a month ago. Mm -hmm. This thing, serious? I don't know. Are people taking this serious? They are, and I think the thing is, is as much as out there, a lot of people are not going to be aware that this is going on. Believe it or not, so mm -hmm. you got to be. You don't want to be on the highway when this is going on. You want to be somewhere off the road, and and if you're going to try to look at it, make sure you have the special eyewear. If you don't have the eyewear, you just can't look at the sun because even in this area, we're. It's going to block about 97% of the sun. We're right in it, basically. But we're outside the path of totality, and you have to go to, like, Brentwood, Tennessee, or up in that area to be able to, that's the closest point for us to see it. And so if not, then you, there's ways to make indirect ways to look at it, like pinholes through cardboard boxes and project that on the ground, and you can look at it indirectly. Uh, but you do not need to look at the sun without the special glasses. You pick up a lot of new business. I might, but that's not the kind that's of business not why that I want. To do it. And be careful with the glasses out there because some, if you can see through it, those are not the right. correct glasses. They should have. Look on the back, there's an E. And oh. you're out of glasses. I'm out of those so glasses. Out. I know Makes that the, the same company shipped kits to Lowe's and Walmart, so you can check okay. there and see. Make you sure can. that it has the ISO right. on the back of right. the glasses, and those are good ones. All right. You go, anybody about here in the I got a, a, You brought something I want to mention, and I. Some of your teachers have mentioned this to us in the past about some of these schools, uh, Tanner, uh, West Limestone, for example. What is the situation with kids going hungry now? I mean, it's a, it's a sad situation, but how does that address the school? <clears throat> well, this summer, well, summer before last, we started a program called CHOW, Combating Hunger on Wheels. That program started out, we fed a couple thousand meals in the summertime. This past summer, we, we fed almost 21,000 meals. What? 21,000 meals over the summer. Over the summer? Just mm -hmm. in the summer, 21,000 meals. And those kids didn't pay a dime for it. We qualified for a federal grant. We have some real pockets of poverty, Jamie, that we have to really acknowledge and work through. And if kids come to school and they're hungry, they don't learn. If they come to school and they don't feel safe, wow. they don't learn. And so it's important that we take care of the whole person 
so not just the student. So uh, our free and reduced lunch rates uh, fluctuate depending upon what school, certain communities it's higher. Uh, we have gone from three title schools, i.e. subsidized federal support because of low income, uh, to seven mm -hmm. in the last three years. Um, we think that that trend will start reverse, reversing itself as more industry moves into the area and more jobs become available to our see, parents. That's what makes me My sick. You goodness. see Luther Strange blowing six to eight million dollars from a PAC fund out of Washington and then mm -hmm. they come in and kids across America can't eat. Yes. I could have done a lot with that six to eight oh million dollars goodness. for these kids in Limestone County. I'm just here to tell you. No one should could have done hungry. a lot. Yeah. Athens City could have done a lot. Oh yeah, any of them. Could have they could have done a lot. Yeah, we could have. We could put those bunch. nice visors in the eyes of every one of the kids, and I didn't even know about it. Didn't even know that that was an option. So I'm, I got an education. You'll be blinded by the light. You better care. believe it. Don't care how many coins you got in your pocket. <laughs> Again, what is that degree you have? New assistant. A and you knew that. A mystic. I did because I collected some coins too, not to his level, but. Oh, okay. And you make so Cody feel about that high. About. Thank y'all for that. Hey, tomorrow, <laughs> you know, we'll have a Coach Cody's Leg. Well, we call him Coach now. He is assistant, assistant principal. principal. He'll be here tomorrow. Coach yeah. Leg. Uh, Coach uh, Pugh will be here. Talk, he's not as usual on a Thursday. And Joe will be back cooking. Joe holds two world records now. Mm -hmm. Saw another one. He was on the show yesterday talking about it too. So anyway, we'll take a break for now. Thank y'all for coming. Anybody back here, don't forget, it's 15 minute drive from here. Call us if Make you've got an any appointment. questions. Mm -hmm. Make an appointment. You'll be glad you did. Call them down there today. Tell them. Dr. Tyke Miller said, I need to get in and see y'all before I can't see nobody. <laughs> That's right. Hey, That's good. Good. That's good. I need to, I need to copy that. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break and see y'all bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. <laughs>